What is up, everybody? I'm McLegger here, back with some Fallout 4. Alright, today, what shall we do? I'm hearing a lot of random shit. I just noticed that. I need to go attack. I need to go back to Nuvac. Nuvac? Novac. Left the boomers around Nellis. So I did. Oh, yeah. Nice day, where? Uh, let's go listen to the boomer story. <clears throat> the story of the boomers. What gun do I have equipped? Okay. Wait, you can't unequip it. No, I can't. Oh, well. Hey, kid. You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Uh, yeah. Me? I'm Pete, keeper of the story. I know I seem kind of young. I was the apprentice keeper of the story until a couple months ago, but old keeper Don, well, whiskey and landmines don't go together. So it's up to me. I bet you want to know everything about us. Sure. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? Uh, sure. Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. We left and wandered the wastes. They were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades, burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. Mm. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here our mighty guns destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways. Yeah. Nellis has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. And that is our story so far. For this last image, it is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, bringing high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. Now that you know the story of our people, you must have all sorts of questions. Ask away. Uh, why did they leave the vault? So you know about the vaults? Yes, we lived in one of those. Ours was numbered 34. In our vault, everyone had guns. But the overseer wouldn't let you fire off any of the really fun ones. I guess all the little pops and bangs at the firing ranges just got boring after a while. Huh. People were willing to risk it all for freedom. And at Nellis, we found it. We haven't detonated any atomic warheads since before I was born. But otherwise, it's do as you will. Anything else you want to know? Atomic warheads. They're basically fucking nukes. But those howitzers out there, they shoot fucking many nukes. Oh, the explosion are basically nukes. Surprised Nellis was empty. Several automatic warheads detonate here a hundred years ago leaving the base highly radioactive. The savages of the Waste, ignoramuses, all avoided Nellis by habit. 
Uh, whereas your people have brought Geiger counters, okay. That's exactly right. You're very knowledgeable for a salve. An outsider. Anything else you want to know? Uh, how do you survive? Nellis is a completely self-sufficient community. We draw water from Lake Mead, solar arrays provide power, and we grow our own crops. Hmm. Thank you. Our self-sufficiency is a point of pride. Anything else you want to know? Uh, what are houses doing at... What are houses doing at the Air Force Base? You're right. They weren't here when we discovered Nellis. We found the guns at a huge weapon depot called Area 2, many miles from here. It took many weeks to drag the guns and their ammunition back to Nellis. And it was the last time any of us set foot beyond our homeland. Hmm. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to pass that on. Anything else you want to know? Uh... How has Nellis taught your people how to fly? Once we restore power, we learn that some elaborate chairs we've been sleeping in were actually virtual reality simulators. We believe they were used to train combat pilots. We use them extensively. I alone have shot down over 500 Chinese. Zion 85 fighters. Before you ask, I'm afraid there's no way you can be allowed to use the simulators. They're for our use only. Sorry. Uh, of course. Thank you for being so understanding. Anything else you want to know? Uh, how did you learn where to find an old bomber? Loyal found a file somewhere on the base, with magazine articles, photographs, a map even. It seems that a bomber, apparently the 29th of its kind, crashed in Lake Mead on July 21st, 1948. Just imagine, that's over 300 years ago. The photograph shows that it was basically intact, and the map tells us exactly where to find it. Except we haven't left Nellis in decades. It'll be spectacular, won't it? You should talk to Loyal. I bet you could help. I wish everyone were just as interested in our story as you are. Maybe I should act out the battles. Or learn how to throw my voice. Like, for real. A bomber that landed, it that crashed in the uh, ocean, or Lake Mead, 300 years ago. You know how fucking decrepit that shit would be? I don't care what type of metal it's made out of. Whatever. See ya. Yeah. Hey, A doing? bunch of shut-ins who scorn outsiders and hold technology over them. Gee, where have I heard that one before? Yeah. I asked the medic. Can't help him right now. God damn it. Okay. Uh. Sorry that I'm dying. Uh, hi. Fuck face. What? So you're the outsider. Lived your whole life out there, huh? Wow. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. But I hear you sound like us. I'm gonna help out. What I could use is some scrap metal. It may not sound exciting, but around here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. The other thing, you being from the outside and all, well, I guess you'd call it a personal matter, but, well, uh, forget it. Come on. That must be nice, sharing yourself like that, not being embarrassed or anything. Well, the thing is, there's this girl. Tell me about her. Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair, and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. You'd really talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? What if she doesn't like me? Oh, jeez. Uh, I better just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. They don't make my stomach queasy like this. Uh... That would be amazing. As in, I would thank you forever. Okay. Young hearts. Yeah.
Uh, he didn't even tell me where it was. Come on now, really? That's shitty. Hey, Ringo. Give me my money. Give me the rest of my money. Hey there. Here's the rest of the payment I promised you back in Good Springs. Thank you. I'll see you around. Yeah. Hey, man. Got some money? If you're looking to buy or sell, you... Yeah, yeah. I need to sell some stuff too. I want to keep the 44. It's a western gun. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oh yeah, definitely that. Oh, and that. Desperato. Desperado. Hmm. Oh, that's the SMG. Like, you can get a fucking drum mag for a 9mm pistol. It's cool. So, what do these do? Let me buy them. Let's see what they do. Do I need ammo? Let me just buy it just in case. Aw, oh, that's 20 gauge. That sucks. Take it just for the hell of it. Forty four rounds. Is that it? Ah, uh, seems like it. Oh. Okay. See ya. See ya. Hello. Oh, good. She's sweeping the dirt. You should go talk to Blake or Alice. They handle most of our contact with visitors. Uh, boomers. I watch all sorts of things with my binoculars. Who wants to know? And why? Young man. Nice looking blonde boy? I always wondered if he was watching me back. What's he like? You can't see him from there. Really? <laughs> That's so sweet. I'd love to go meet him. Is there any way the boomers would let me visit Nellis? I'll ask Pearl. This is so exciting. Let me know how it turns out. Okay. Should I get her killed? Nah, I don't want to be mean like that. And that happened seven months ago. Goddamn. I'm looking at videos that I remember watching, and it's been so long since that happened. It's been five years since that happened. Holy shit. Hey, Mother Pearl. How is your visit with us going, stranger? I'm good. Well, well, this is welcome news. Who is she? She works for the Crimson Caravan. She's with those traitors? They've tried to contact us before, but I'm not interested in trading with greedy savages. This presents a bit of a problem. Jack isn't allowed to leave Nellis, and I doubt she would make it through the artillery alive. Hmm. I suppose Jack deserves a chance at love. You can tell Jack she has a free pass to enter, but he is responsible for her actions. Do not make me regret this decision, outsider. Okay. Later. Later. Jesus, I am not the messenger. I am the carrier. Oh, I can't wait to get better armor than this shit. Speaking of which, what level am I? Level 11. Oh yeah. 
That sucks. Hey y'all. Oh, where is he? There he is. Hey, Jack. The lady's interesting. Have you seen her? The redhead of my dreams. Uh, good news. She feels the same way. She does? You mean it? That's incredible. What happens next? Can she come here? How do we make sure she doesn't get blown up? Should I talk to the gunners or to Pearl? Uh, she said she can come. Here, take this boomer outfit. I'll let the gunners know she's coming and not to shoot at her. Okay. We. How much what? How many caps do I have? It's your step, sister. Hmm. Watch your step, sister. Bitch, I am a man. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Hmm. I wish I would. I don't play really relevant games. I mean, yeah, I played like a four, but nobody seemed to watch it. That's what I might play tomorrow. Well, today's Wednesday. Tomorrow's Hello. Thursday. Hello again. How's your boomer friend? Friday, I'm going to put out some Black Ops 4. Maybe zombies. I don't know. I'm going to talk to you with them again. I was hoping you would. What's going on? Have they agreed to my safety yet? Uh, yeah. Here, you got to wear that. There's one more thing. I have a work contract with the Crimson Caravan, and if I walk away, I lose the wages they owe me. Could you do just one more thing for me and talk <clears throat> to Alice McLafferty about it? I know if I do it, she'll just say no. I'd hate to lose the money. Uh, yeah, sure. I gotta talk to this bitch. Yes, I know I'm calling her a bitch, but she is a bitch. Look at her. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas branch. What may I do for you? Uh, Janet. Ah, yes. Her infatuation with a boomer she's never met. It's a small camp. More gets around. She's aware she's breaking her contract, which is undoubtedly why she sent you to talk to me instead of coming herself. Janet is free to leave, but she forfeits the wages she's owed. That's the price of contract breaking. Take it or leave it. Uh. I ain't got enough. Need to consider. Fuck it. I'm glad to hear it. It's been a pleasure. A hard Sorry, I couldn't. I don't have the skill. Sure. Sorry, lady. Have you spoken with McLafferty yet? Yeah. I see. Well, thank you for trying. I'm off to go see my admirer now. There you go. Meet Jack. Meet Jack. Okay. Oh. Holy shit, she's fast. If she's more, it might be there. Oh well. It goes into my tire. Where is she now? Oh shit, she's at the entrance. Alright, they're in there. Yay. Hey guys! Hey Jack. Thank you for getting Janet to Nellis. I've never been so happy in my entire life. You're welcome. See ya. Okay. Loyal! Hello, outsider. Need something? Uh, yeah. An impressive piece of work. I'll keep that in mind if jobs come up in the future. Gotcha. 
No, those aren't for Yeah. Well, if you genuinely care so much, they're flight simulators. If you don't know our history yet, you should see Pete and get the tour. We dream to one day rule the skies. See you later. Bye. I am idolized, oh yeah. Oh shit.